Okay. Not sure if I'll ever post this. But I do want to record what just happened. Um been feeling very nauseous today. Um very, very sick. Okay, so it's getting super, super close and I feel like I haven't updated you the way I wanted to, but I did promise some updates. And in this video, I'm actually going to go back to the very beginning of the pregnancy and show you some things that I did not show you. Things like when I found out I was pregnant, um, cause I was, I was recording. I was like, something told me to record when I took that test. So, um, I'm going to show that. I'm going to show whenever I um, revealed it to my husband. I'm going to show you some of the appointment footage and just things that I left out, especially during the first trimester because I was feeling really bad during the first trimester. And in my announcement video, I kind of talked about what went on at work and just kind of getting through the situational depression and all of that good stuff. So I'm actually going to show you a lot of the things I didn't get to show you. So we're going to start from the beginning. And in a couple weeks, like we're getting closer to the end. So I'm going to show you what's been going on, like the baby shower, the nursery. We already have our hospital bags packed, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to show you um, in the next couple weeks all the things that have been going on. And but this, uh, but for this video, we're going to start from the very beginning with my pregnancy story. So, so let's talk about whenever I told my husband. Well... So I called him after I took my first test and I told him to bring home a test for me. So because I was like, my cycle's not here today. And I was like, could you bring home a test? He's done this before and they always say no. So he didn't think anything of it. And he actually figured that it was coming because he bought me some chocolates too. And I'll sh show you that clip. Yeah. Why'd you give me some turtles? Did you like chocolate? Why did you give me some chocolate? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so he didn't know I'd already took one. So I left it on, uh, I left one, the test I had already took on the bathroom counter and waited for him to come upstairs. And I was just going to let him come across it. And I was just going to be, I was like in a bed with the camera just to see if he would catch it or not. And he caught it. So, um, so he just kind of stopped and looked. What are you talking about? What? You already took it. Is anything on there? Yeah. What does it say? You're pregnant? Really? That's just one. What did you say? I took it earlier today. For real? <laughs> with was the pregnancy planned no it was not planned at all um some people assumed automatically that because i resigned that i resigned to be a stay-at-home mom and those are my reasons but if you watch that video you know that was not the case i resigned i wanted to get things rolling and get a plan like have our plan in place and solid um before i decided to have children like I didn't want to quit and just be like yes let's have kids now um no that's not how I had it planned out in my head so um I felt like it would you know it was going to be better if I got myself together got things rolling and then you know had a baby but everybody's like everything happens for a reason and it couldn't have come at a better time and I agree um I agree like I resigned beginning February found out um I was pregnant March 19th so, um, I guess I was super, super happy <laughs> right after I resigned. Like, like, I really did feel better. And some people were like, do you think that played a part, um, your mental health, do you think that played a part in us conceiving? And I was like, I have no idea, but I could imagine so because we didn't change anything. We didn't do anything differently. So, um, so yeah, that's a whole nother story. But 
that answers that question. It was not planned, but we are absolutely happy. We are thrilled and excited about what's to come. Um, also, my husband has been super supportive. He has gone to every single appointment, even the ones I didn't think he could make and work around his schedule, like my three hour glucose test that I talked about in a previous video. Um, I didn't think he could make that one because that one was so last minute. It was like, I failed the one hour and then they were like, we need to see you in like a day or two, come in for the three hour. And I was just like, you know, this last minute, I understand you can't, you know, make this one. And I went and he ended up just like popping up at the, he like popped up maybe like 15 minutes after I had arrived. So he's been to every single appointment. And um, like our first appointment, I'll show you our confirmation of the pregnancy. Like I was so nervous and excited and you couldn't see me like cry whenever I was laying there, but it was like a tear had rolled down on the side. Like you couldn't see whenever I first saw our son. It was like, I don't know, like that feeling. I can't, it's just like cheesing real big. Like you can't explain it. Um, on our way to our first appointment. So, almost ready to see the doctor. Come a little cover on and look. <laughs> Are you gonna record this? <laughs> Are you gonna record the screen for me? Uh, for us. Why are you acting like that? What was that? <laughs> Nervous. Mm. Nervous, kind of, sort of. I'm excited. Um, maybe it's just now really about to hit me, other than the morning sickness, that I'm really, really pregnant. Hmm. And it's almost 10 weeks. Yeah. yeah. That means I need to work your nerves more every day so the baby looks more like me, right? No. No? Yeah? That's just a myth? The baby's gonna look like me. You sure? Yeah, sure. Wanna bet? The baby's gonna look like me. My mom has strong genes. So is my dad. Well, it's gonna be the battle of Stacy and Will. You know? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Looks like he got a head like you. Oh. Everything looks good, okay? I did have lots of morning sickness. My body was like, I can't do this. Um, I had cravings and aversions. And um, my morning sickness was bad to the point. I was prescribed diclegis. I still have my last little bottle. Weeks 7 through... Week seven through, this is about to be week 11 tomorrow. Pretty much week seven through up to now, especially seven, eight, and nine. Morning sickness. Like, I don't know what you're doing in there. Um, but whatever's going on in my body had me nauseous. And I really didn't want to document all of that because I really didn't feel like it. I was extremely tired. Um having hot flashes it was so weird but um i know it's all gonna be worth it but i'm actually feeling i've been feeling better a little better in the mornings heartburn and um indigestion is like that's what's going on right now but i've been feeling better so i'm working out and i especially need to work out because of i'm already overweight and we gotta be healthy. So I'm on my way to the gym right now. All I do is put on my shoes. Look at these. So yes, I did have morning sickness, like the worst, I guess I can go with the worst thing um, that happened was I threw up, um, and it wasn't even morning sickness, it was more so like all day sickness. I threw up while I was driving one time. That was like super scary. Um, I got to the light and I started to feel nauseous and luckily, luckily I was coming from a grocery store and um, the bags were right next to me. So I basically took the bag, dumped everything out and I remember perfectly like that bag had cherries in it. So I dumped the bag 
and while I was at the light, I just started hurling in the bag. I'm sorry if there's too much information. And then when the light turned green, I looked up and I was like, no. So it took me a while to kind of be able to go. And I just hit a right into this neighborhood and I parked and I just finished. It was like the scariest thing. And I'm like, what if I didn't have a bag? Like I was going to, it was like, it was going to be everywhere. But, um, I had lots of spells and I think it was the worst thing was like just feeling nauseous and not actually being able to throw it up. It was to be able to vomit. That was the worst feeling. Um, so I had lots of morning sickness and getting up in the morning and going to work was tough. Um, let's talk about some of my cravings and aversions. Like I did not like water. I could not drink water. Some people are like, oh my gosh, like how could you not drink water? Well, like I could not drink water. It just tasted like, I don't know, like it could be coming out of a fish tank or something. <laughs> it was gross to me. So what I did, which sounds so nasty to me right now, what I did was I would take a little bit of orange juice and I'll put a little bit of orange juice in my mug, I mean in my, um, in my big jug and it was delicious. Like, I wasn't just drinking straight orange juice. I was just like, let me put a little bit of orange juice in my water. And I could just go all day. I'd drink the whole thing. And my friends, and especially my partner teacher, she was looking at me. She's like, that is so nasty. I was like, it's so good right now, though. I'm a pescatarian, as many of you know. I haven't been true to being a pescatarian throughout the entire pregnancy. But um, pescatarian, and I could not eat salmon and crab legs or anything like that like the crab legs literally tasted like the ocean or something i was just like we had crab legs and i tried it from two different places and my husband was i was like do you taste that can you taste it he's like no i was like no i can't do it and crab legs if you know me snow crab legs especially are my absolute favorite salmon just the texture of it i couldn't do so i was like gotta get my protein in um so I did eat, I have ate a little turkey throughout the pregnancy here and there and tried, dip, dabbled in a couple things that I didn't, hadn't tasted in years, but um, I didn't go crazy. And what else? Cravings. The first craving I had, which is one of my latest cravings, was greens and cornbread. I wanted greens, 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 and cornbread and fruit veggies and smoothies like which is, that all sounds good right but that wasn't long lived but i also want to talk about my journal that i got this has been the journal i've used to document my pregnancy and i'm going to show you some clips of that when i first received it showing my mom my pregnancy journal that came in would you like to take it out of the bag Look, isn't it cute? I'm gonna put my test right there. Mm -hmm. See the little test part? Oh, this is cute. Oh, oh, are you trying to hide your face? Carmen's behind me. She's tore up. No, she's not. I mean, the wig kind of wipes out it, but. Oh, it's cute. No pregnancy. Mm hmm. A lot of this is what most of the pages look like. Definitely didn't know anything at weeks three and four. So, yeah. Just don't know what to put there. This is where mm. I will put my ultrasound pictures. Mm -hmm. Right there. There's a little board. Yeah, little so you really board. should be writing and sorting now. We what, week 14? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to have to backdate. Yeah. Yeah, Let's the see. names. Oh, okay. I think that's so cute. Oh, that is cute. For boys and for girls. You know I could find mm. out the gender like this week, but I don't want to know. Mm. So yeah. I have a girl hey, name Anna. already. What Two. Is it? I mean, I think I like that as far as a girl, but I will, I will be, if it's a boy, I'm stuck. I don't mm. really know. These are my stickers. I may have to order some additional stickers because my mom pointed out earlier that the weeks were kind of off but here's stickers for like the planner that I could put in the planner the weeks but um like if you look here mm -hmm. they had different ones like but I got like a pack because she had all of these together mm -hmm. so yeah 
But now you can see, but now you can see my journal has stickers in it. It actually has my test in it. Probably can't see that. It also has more pages decorated. And I have to add lots of pictures to it. My ultrasounds are in here. And of course I've written in it. So I haven't the past, ooh, how many weeks behind am I? I have also have exercise throughout the pregnancy. Um, it's gotten a little harder the past couple weeks to get in there, but I do make sure I'm up and walking around and active throughout the day. So um, I have exercise throughout the pregnancy, just in case any of you were wondering. It was like the second trimester was a dream. Like I pretty much exercise like regularly during my second trimester and the beginning of my third and it's just getting as the, the closer we get, it's just kind of like, I'm going to go walk <laughs> versus going to the gym. Um, so, yeah, basically what's going on now, just to kind of catch you up. Um, we have done the Lamaze classes, like I said earlier. And my husband had to wear the empathy belly. Like, he had to wear the belly. And it was so cute. Um, but I'm just, I'm excited about what's to come. We, um, I had to shower on Saturday. It was absolutely beautiful like my mom did such a great job my sisters did such a great job my aunts and my best friend and everyone that helped put it together it was like the my theme is dream big same theme as his nursery is gonna be like it's very neutral but it's still like it has a theme i didn't want to go with the the cars planes trains and sports and i didn't want to go with anything like that but um yeah He's going to have like a dreamy room, like a dream big type thing going on in here. But the shower was absolutely lovely. And um, so can't wait to show you that video. That should be the next video. I'm debating on that and uh, what's in my hospital bag video, which one's next. Because my bag is the bag. Our bags are packed. And um, yeah, there's lots coming up. Like, for example, the birth. And I can't wait to keep you guys updated. Um... You know, I got my pregnancy face going on, my pregnancy swollenness in my belly. And, um, yeah, there's so much. Like, everything's about to change. It's all about to change. But it's a good change. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little nervous about motherhood. But I'm excited at the same time. Like, I'm like, the human, there's a little human inside of me and he's about to come out. So... I will reveal his name. If you follow us on Snapchat, you saw his name whenever I posted some of the baby shower pictures. And I'll reveal his name um, whenever I post that video. So, and I want to thank everyone that came to the shower. It was, it was literally a dream. So, I hope you like this update and like the beginning of my pregnancy story. And now we're coming to an end. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts at My Natural Sisters. And go to MyNaturalSisters.com. And until next time, peace out, sisters.